this is QE Learning Center where we're looking at English language across this series of short videos. We'll be looking at different things, especially meta language from the English language course for year 11, 12. Um, okay, so today we're looking at sentence types. So we're looking at the different types of sentences we have in English, what they do and like what the key component of their syntax is. So there's four types. We're going to get through all four today. First type is declarative sentences. So declarative sentences are sentences that give the reader or the audience or the hearer information. So it's about expressing something, uh, giving a statement, telling someone an emotion or an attitude or an opinion. Uh, so in this example here, it's the person is making a statement. So the weather is terrible is a statement. They're handing across information, which is basically what a declarative sentence is. And we know it's declarative from the syntax because importantly for declarative syntax, the subject and the verb are in the sentence and the subject is normally first. So the weather is the subject and is is the verb. So we have subject, verb, and then like an optional extra bit at the end. But what makes this declarative is subject and the verb here um, in that order as well. So we'll compare that to other types of sentences in a sec to see what the difference is. This type of sentence is imperative sentences. And these are sentences that you normally use when you're giving someone a command or you're telling someone to do something. For these, the person hearing your sentence is, the, almost, is always a subject. So that's normally you. So I'll write it here. You is the subject. So you can tell from this sentence that the subject would be like, you go to sleep, but it's never real. You don't actually see that when you write it down. Um, so we also know that this is, so basically from a syntax, we know that these are imperative because they have no subject. It just starts with the verb and then the optional object or the optional extra bit at the end. doesn't matter what it is. Um, yeah, so that's how we know it's imperative. No subject. And we also, you can just tell from the way that this is phrased that these are commands. You're telling someone to do something. And it's normally a little bit more like aggressive than just saying, um, you should brush your teeth maybe, or can you brush your teeth? And we'll get to all those kind of um, specifics about each one in a sec. Okay, so the next sentence type, um, where that would be a little bit more imperative sentences, giving a command now by what is interrogative sentences. So these are questions. And for interrogative sentence types, obviously you use them when you are trying to get information out of someone, or you're making a request, or like anything like that. Um, you can also use interrogatives for commanding someone if you want to be a little bit more polite. So if you ask like, can you close the door? You're implying that you want them to close the door instead of saying close the door, which is like the imperative version that we looked at just before. Aggressive. We're using, we can use the sentence to do that. Um, so let's look at the syntax of an interrogative sentence type. Um, he, look at this example here. Are you leaving tonight? The syntax, what's important about the syntax is that this, the subject goes after. So we actually switch the subject and the verb around. So if this was declarative, if you were giving information, you would say, you are leaving tonight. But because it's a question, we switch them around in English and make it, you are leaving tonight. So that's the syntax, the word order for interrogative sentences is actually different. Um, okay, interrogative sentences, asking a question. The final type of sentence is exclamative. And exclamative sentences aren't, are, are very different to like declarative and other sentences. And like sometimes they even seem slightly non ungrammatical, but it is actually a sentence type. And normally these just don't have a subject at all. So it's not, it doesn't have a verb is what's important. It like this could function as a subject, but the, the main important thing is that it doesn't have a verb at all. There's no like that the dog is large or that is a large dog. There's no verb at all in this sentence. It's just an exclamation. So in terms of how you would use these sentences, exclamative sentences are like when you see something, you express an emotion or an express an opinion or something or an observation, but it's a little bit more like rapid fire than a declarative. So whereas a declarative would be more like a full sentence, you might have more time to say it. You might use an exclamative sentence when you're a little bit less, when you're like suddenly approached by something and you just remark on it instantly. And exclamative sentences, making an exclamation. 
And remember that all of these are defined by their syntax and their word order, not just by the thing in English. Okay? Um, that's it for today. See you all next time.